<laughs> hey you ball handlers on YouTube I've got a couple snakes to share with you today and this will be a couple super pastels and there's also another gene swimming around we'll tell you what it is at the end see if anybody can guess it if you guess it uh, I don't know how I'll know you did it but congratulations to you so first we have a female here and she's probably my favorite of the two that we've got in our facility and you can see with a super pastel how amplified the pastel is all this blushing down the back and the head comes out really washed out although her head might be a little different than a typical super pastel that should be a clue into the hidden gene we're talking about so that's the female one thing too that's really cool get your nose back in there is when you have two of the same snake it really lets you see the variations in those two come on so these guys both carry the same genes actually a guy and a girl you're just not going to cooperate and enroll for me are you he's like no i'm not going to do it i don't want to do it there you are come here don't be that way and they never want to play nice when you have them both out uh so i'm trying to get his head out there it is you can see his head and how it's actually lighter than hers but the pattern and the color how much difference there are, there is too you know, with hers being more banded, I think, and having more blushing than what his has. So, those are both super pastel. And in case you haven't figured it out, and why I suggested to really pay close attention to that head, is the other gene which can be difficult to spot is spot nose. Spot nose can kind of add and change the pattern on a lot of things in combos. And by itself, it has a very distinct head stamp. And it's kind of hard to miss. If I had a spot nose all alone, I'd show you that, but we have, unfortunately don't own any. We only own them in the combos. You're just getting frisky with me, Snake. So that is our Super Pastel Spot Nose. One great thing, again, you're working with a Super Pastel. So when we breed these, if I were to breed these two snakes together, I would get, every snake would be Super Pastel. Every single one. Because being they're both Super Pastels, he has to pass on Pastel she has to pass on pastel so everybody would be super pastel if i bred a normal to her which i wouldn't do but if i did every baby would be at least pastel half of them would get spot nose as well so the cool thing anytime you're dealing with any super whether it's a blue eyed the cystic with super lesser whether it's super orange dream super pastel doesn't matter you know you'll never make a normal it's gonna pass that gene on so instead of taking 50-50 odds, you're taking, you're taking one odd out of it. You get to 100%, which is a really awesome. Not to mention, they just look cool. I mean, that's a really neat looking animal. So Super Pastel does some wonderful stuff. Uh, and Pastel's been around so long, the price has really come down. Uh, Spot Nose isn't as old. It came into play in 2005 by a VPI, who is responsible for a lot of things coming into play. They've done some amazing work. But with Super Pastel... You can get these for relatively, you know, decent amount of money. You're not going to pay thousands of dollars for a super pastel. Uh, and you get a really cool looking snake. What could be better than that? So, they're pretty neat in my book. Any questions, Kurt? Nope. One other thing, too, guys. This particular snake doesn't have a name yet. And we've been kind of thinking and thinking, and we don't know what to come up with. Still got both of them out. We're going to be naming... This one, the darker of the two, but remember, he's in shed right now. So when he sheds, his color will be closer to this. So we have both of them out just so you can kind of see what they look like. Uh, and we do have some rules on naming. One, we do all of our names with mythology. It can be Greek, Roman, Norse. It doesn't matter. What we would like is your help in naming our snake. So go ahead and make a comment with what name you think this guy should have. And again, he's a super pastel spot nose. So give us your input, and uh, whoever wins, we'll make sure in one of our videos give you a shout out and announce a name. So toss us some comments, tell us what you want his name to be. The only disqualifiers are if we've already used that name. And again, has to be mythology. The only exception to mythology is Trouser, the one eyed clown. Uh, otherwise, you know, you, you have to do that. Otherwise, mythology, please. All right, thanks guys, and don't forget while you're making that comment with that name, go ahead and click the like button on this video and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. Thanks a ton.